Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as we know, guys, this is not to be taken seriously. I'm just making this video for you know entertainment purposes only. As you know, all the videos really, but this one definitely. Being for the fact that it's just a sense of humor, I had seen this and I wanted to share it with you guys because you know I was a definitely a Simpsons fan. And the Simpsons basically predicted AMC squeeze, guys. Or, you know, basically a lot of stuff that happened in the Simpsons. You don't know how they do it. Well, I kind of know how they do it. That's another topic for another day. But, like, a lot of these TV shows, cartoons, a lot of that stuff was, you know, controlled by, you know, the Illuminati and by that higher power, the same people that's behind a lot of this uh, music and the agenda they pushing with that. But anyways, guys, we know the Simpsons predicted Trump to be become president. I mean, that junk just don't add up, right? Even some scenes where Trump was coming down the escalator exactly with the background, you know, the sh same visuals and everything. As uh, hap ha as it happened, it happened just like in the show. But anyway, some things be 100% like how they say it would, and some things be a little off. But they also had predicted uh, Kobe Bryant's death in one of the Simpson shows, like the helicopter crash and Kobe was hanging out the helicopter and they had the trophies. He was, they was like, give me the trophy, give me the trophy, Kobe. They didn't, he didn't throw out the trophy and then the helicopter blew up and that's when all his rings had just uh, appeared and they picked up the rings and took off. But anyways, as we know, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Simpsons predicting Moasis and shout out to Red Pill Bill who had uh, posted this. They make a lot of predictions and remember this one? Uh, now, before I execute this order, are you sure you understand the risks of stock ownership? Absolutely. We're in the money. We're in the money. <laughs> you heard the monkey. Make the trade. You heard they the monkey. They predicted Trump's presidency. They hey. know. You heard the monkey make the trade, but that's crazy, guys. But as we know, man, like I tell you guys in a previous video, video before, I believe with all the, you know, attention that surrounded these two plays, AMC and GME, and with so many millions of people being involved with, you know, certain people involved in this play that have a little pool, a little say-so in the world. We had certain people with pool and say-so that actually come out and speak of what happened and how retail investors would get manipulated and shitted. People that, you know, people could, you know, got to, you know, sp pull some screens and got to respect what certain people say or certain people stand up for us in this situation. Some things got to happen out of it. But anyways, like I told you guys in the video before, I do believe they is going to, you know, they're going to have to let it run, have to let it do something eventually. Nobody knows the exact time, day, when it's going to happen. They'll probably let it happen whenever we reverse and go into a bullish market. You know, they'll have a little, a little mini one, a little fake one, as we have this fake bull run within this bear market of course it's gonna run with the overall market but when they really let it fly and go they're gonna be just letting it do it to you know save face a little bit from all the backlash and all the stuff that could be you know coming up from the surface because we already know how shitty they is and stuff but i don't know if they want everything to start coming out of the bag and a lot of different organizations and themselves starting to have to you know take accountability for what they're doing so they might try to let this play run a bit just to get you know some some of the heat off of their backs but they got they just ain't going to let it happen like that they want to most definitely try to get as many people out as they can before they do so because they don't just want to hand over you know millions of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars to a lot of retail investors that way you already don't want to work because all of the money that it was given now that's why they trying to you know come through raise the prices on everything make you go back into the gutter and make you want them again because at first a lot of people when they was printing all that money giving everybody all that money a lot of people was coming independent but they didn't need the government no more they didn't really need to work no more you know companies you go to restaurants and stuff the lines you wrapped around the building because they short staff because people ain't want to work but now we got to put you in a situation to where you need us again raise the prices raise interest rates raise everything shrink uh, and shrink the pay put that gap back there so they can you know need us again but anyways y'all already know what to do add your boy on instagram at the behave show like i said I love y'all. We out. And God bless y'all. We come.